This is a demonstration video for the proper installation of Ultra Pro crimp on fittings using Ultra Pro poly and stainless steel braided hoses. When using the poly braided Ultra Pro hose, begin by tightly wrapping the braid with high quality PTFE tape, better known as plumber's tape, at the location of the desired cut. Use a utility knife with the new razor blade to ensure sharpness and a clean cut. Never use a hose cutter or saw to cut the poly braided Ultra Pro hose. Start by puncturing the hose with the blade near the top or 12 o'clock position. Once you have punctured the hose, slowly rotate the hose while firmly holding the blade in the 9 o'clock position. Cut approximately 90% of the way around the hose, leaving a small portion of the inner hose and outer braid uncut. Finish the cut with a sharp pair of scissors. If you are installing stainless steel Ultra Pro hose, start by wrapping the hose at the desired cut location with high quality masking tape or duct tape. Do not wrap the duct tape more than one and a half to two times around the hose braid. Any more than this can cause difficulty when installing the collars. Use only Earl's professional hose cutting machine, part number D100ERL, or a bandsaw to cut stainless braided Ultra Pro hose. Never use a hacksaw, cutoff wheel, or shears to cut the Ultra Pro hose. Doing so can damage the inner liner of the hose, causing leaks and or pressure failure. Once your cut is complete, install the correct crimp collar over the tape and onto the hose. Be sure to position the grooved end of the collar so that it faces towards the fitting that you are crimping. When installing the collar on a stainless steel hose, you can use one of two methods. Method one is the same as the poly braid installation. Slide the collar over the tape left over from the initial cutting process. Method number two is to remove the tape and lightly secure the collar in a vise. Be sure you have the grooved end of the collar facing the correct way. Now slowly twist the hose as you work the braid onto the collar with the assistance of a pair of pliers. Continue twisting until the hose is completely through the collar. Next you will need to expand the hose. This step is only necessary for Dash 10 AN and larger Ultra Pro hose. The expansion process allows for easier installation and a more consistent, higher quality crimp. This step is not required when using Dash 6 or Dash 8 Ultra Pro hose. The Dash 6 and Dash 8 dies included with the expander tool, part number 600 ERL, are for use with other Earl's product lines only. Install the appropriate expander die into your Earl's expander tool. Place the hose into the expander, making sure you slide the crimp collar back 2-3 to three inches away from the end of the hose that is going to be expanded. Never attempt to expand the hose with a crimp collar in place. Pull the lever 90 degrees from the resting position to expand. Return the lever to the resting position and rotate the hose slightly in the die and expand a second time. There are three methods you can use to secure a fitting in the vise, depending on which one you are installing. When installing a straight fitting, you can secure a weld-in bung in the vise that corresponds with your hose end. Simply twist your fitting onto the weld-in bung and push on the hose. One method of securing tube fittings is to lightly tighten the tube section of the fitting directly in the vise. Be careful not to crush the tube by over-tightening your vise. Keep the jaws of the vise from contacting the braze joint area where the tube meets the fitting. Earl's vise jaws, part number 1044 ERL and 1004 ERL, work best to secure all types of fittings and are easy to use. Simply insert your fitting into the Earl's jaws and tighten. Now you're ready to install your hose onto the secured fitting. Apply a couple of drops of Earl's assembly lubricant to any thread surfaces and the nipple to aid in assembly and prevent galling. When installing the hose onto the fitting, be sure that it is pushed up and butts against the step of the fitting. Carefully slide the crimp collar towards the fitting, making sure that no braid material is sticking past the collar when it is fully installed. Ensure that the braid is not bunched or twisted before proceeding. If necessary, slide the collar back away from the fitting, adjust your braid, and reinstall the collar. Crimp all Ultra Pro hose and fittings using the Earl's D100 crimp machine. Follow the setup instructions included with your machine before performing any crimping. It may be necessary to adjust the factory settings on your machine due to variations in the manufacturing and assembly process. Using the crimping machine setting chart, determine the correct setting and set your micro adjustable stop accordingly. Ensure that the dies you are using are correct for the hose you are crimping. If you are using anodized collars, applying a light film of Earl's assembly oil to the exterior of the collar will help prevent galling and discoloration of your collar. Insert the hose and fitting assembly into the crimper, making sure that the top of the collar is flush with the top of the die. If the collar is too deep in the die, the crimper can crush the fitting, destroying it. If it is too shallow, the collar will not get a sufficient crimp and possibly leak. For Ultra Pro Dash 6 crimped fittings, you must double crimp the collar. After the preliminary crimp is complete, 
rotate the collar in the machine so that the newly formed ridges are now centered on the flat spots of the die and recrimp using the same settings. Remove the hose assembly from the machine. Now using calipers, measure the outside diameter of the crimped collar at the low points, never on the ridges that are formed by the die. Refer back to the crimping machine setting chart for the correct final OD range and compare. If the OD measurement is larger than your spec, you will have to reset the micro adjustable stop accordingly and recrimp. If the OD measurement is more than 15 thousandths of an inch smaller than the spec, the assembly has been over crimped and should be discarded. Every Ultra Pro hose assembly must be tested using our Earl's Pressure Test Kit, part number D016, before installation, due to the variances that occur during the manufacturing and assembly process. The assembly process is now complete and ready to install.